Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the Plant 3D model to generate Plant 3D isometrics drawings and also orthographic drawings. So one of the many benefits to Plant 3D is being able to produce these drawings on the fly very quickly. So we can see here that we've got a line and I want to produce an isometric drawing of that line. Okay, so I'll select a projection ISO on my ISO tab. I will select the line number I wish to produce an isometric from. I'll give it a revision and I'll click create. That will then create my isometric. You can see that it's creating in the background. Once it's created, you'll get a bubble like this. You can click on the link. You can see that it's required two drawings to create this isometric. And I can click on that link there, and it gives me an isometric of that type with a bill of materials. Okay, there's my line number. So I want to view all my isometrics for the project. I'll come to my isometric DWG tab. I'll expand the final A2. And there's my other isometric here that makes up this pipeline. Okay, so that's isometrics. What about orthographics? Okay, so to generate an orthographic, all I need to do is click Create Orthographic View. Click Create New. Give it a name. This is where it's going to store it, and this is the template it's going to use. And this basically gives us a view cube. We can pick the view we want to look at. So we say top. We can decide the scale. I've got my paper check on. Basically shows me how it's going to appear on my piece of paper. So let's scale it up a bit. Something like that. Turn my paper check off a bit. Because I actually only want this section here. Okay, I might just do this so I can see a bit better. Yeah, that's about right. Maybe a bit smaller in there. Okay. The view, how I want to view it. No hidden lines. Yeah, so those are your three options. Click OK. And place it on the piece of paper. Okay. We can then create a bit of materials. Oops, wrong button. Uh, a bit of materials, there we are. Step the view. This may not fit on my piece of paper, so I might just do that. There you go. So you could then maneuver that onto your page where you want it. You could do an adjacent view. Again, I'll place it off the page just so we can see it. So we've done top, let's do a left. You can align it up. Yeah, there's an adjacent view. We can annotate as well. Yeah. And those numbers relate to these in here, pipe and 24 being gate valve. Okay, so it's quick and easy to generate isometrics and orthographics from your 3D model. If you have any more questions, please feel free to contact my machine. Thank you for watching. Bye.